A random experiment is an experiment with multiple possible outcomes. So a few examples of a random experiment would be rolling a die and flipping a coin. A sample space is the set of collection of all the outcomes in an experiment. So here, for example, for the experiment of rolling a die, sample space would contain the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, as these are the po all the possible outcomes from rolling a die. Tree diagram is a useful way to visually represent a multi-stage experiment and determine the sample space of that experiment. Here is how one would look like. So you're going to learn how to make a tree diagram. And we're going to use this following experiment as an example for our tree. So let's say there's urn A and urn B. Urn A has the ball number 1, 2, and 3. And urn B has ball colored green and red. You're going to first choose an urn and then draw a ball from it. So first, let's go over the basics of a tree diagram. The branches represent the outcomes of a particular stage. And I personally like to vertically line up each stage to make it more organized. So here you can see branches representing possible outcomes of stage one and more branches branching off to represent outcomes of stage two. Without further ado, let's do our problem. So stage one is picking an urn. And so the possible outcomes of picking an urn include urn A and urn B. So two branches out of begin. And stage two, we have picked the ball. So for urn B, there are two possible outcomes. So two branches branching off of urn B, which are green and red. So for urn A, there are three possible outcomes. So three branches branching out of urn A, which is ball number one, ball number two, and ball number three. From this tree diagram, you're going to be able to figure out the sample space, which contains five elements for our example, which is urn B, green ball, urn B, red ball, urn A, ball one, urn A, ball two, and urn A, ball three. So here you have B green, B red, A1, A2, and A3 for a total of five elements in the sample space. A common mistake that many students make is to put down a repeated outcome multiple times. So let's say for our urn B, there were actually two green balls. Well, when you draw the tree, you will still only make one branch for the green because it's only one possible outcome. Making two separate branches for one outcome would be incorrect, as shown here by this example. So this is incorrect. If you have a multi-stage experiment with an equal number of possibilities in each stage regardless of the previous stage, there's a simple way to calculate the number of elements in, in the sample space. So for example, let's say Bob go to McDonald's to get a Happy Meal. He can choose cheeseburger, nugget, or chicken sandwich for the entree, soft drink, juice, or milk for the drink, and four different toys to choose from. So to figure out how many <laughs> number of Happy Meals he can possibly get in the sample space of his Happy Meal, you would simply multiply the possible outcomes from each stage. So there are three entrees, three drinks, and four toys. So the number of combinations he could get is simply three times three times four for a total of 36.